everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a full. So let's get started. So for this you're just going to need a piece of drawing paper or something to draw with which I'm using a blue mechanical pencil and then if you want to ink it in like an ink pen and whatever you want to use to color it in. If you want to color it you don't have to. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to sketch this out. So we're going to use some really light lines. I'm going to try to draw a little bit darker than maybe I normally would um, just so that you guys can really see uh, what's going on in the paper. I'm going to draw a square shape. And this is going to make up for the horse's um, body from the chest to the tail and from the top of the back to the bottom of the legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the halfway point here and I'm going to move up just a little bit from this and draw a line across. So I'm giving more length here than here. Younger horses have much longer legs in proportion to their body. So you don't definitely want to make sure that you give a lot more space here. So this side of the square is where I'm going to have the head come out and I'm just going to block this in with some shape. So I'm going to start back here a little bit here as it goes off the back up the neck. Just a nice little swooping line there. And then I'm going to come down here for the bottom of the neck and I'm going to bring that down and connect it about halfway down this rectangle shape here. So there's the neck. Now for the chest here I'm going to kind of pull it out just a little bit to kind of indicate some of the shoulder blades and the bones and muscles and things in there. And then for the back Here's the withers, which is a nice strong kind of a bone area, uh, but then it kind of swoops down just a little bit for the backbone, comes up for the back of the rump or the bum of the horse, and then cuts down on a nice curve. The back of the rump is just going to touch this. This isn't where the backbone ends, it's where the back of the kind of the, 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 the bum cheek of the horse is. And so there's, so this is the, the body of the horse here. So under here, where this line comes down, I'm going to draw just a little bit of a similar line following that same kind of swooping smiley shape right there. So there's kind of the barrel of the horse. And now it's time to put in the legs. So for the legs, I kind of find out where the shoulder blade is. And then I draw everything with sticks. Any place that can bend or rotate, I represent with a circle. So right up here is where the shoulder kind of comes out. And actually, here's the first bend part. So this is kind of what, if you would look at your arm, kind of the elbow. Then it comes down to here to the horse's knee. And it's about halfway between here and here is where your knee is. And then coming down here to the ankle. And then we'll put more detail into the foot there. Now, the fun thing about this is that you can move this around any way you want. So this part here can bend, this part here can bend, this part here can bend, and this part here can bend. So let's bring this leg out on this side like it's walking. So here it comes off the shoulder to the knee, coming down to the ankle, and bending back for the hoof. Okay, back here to the back leg of the horse. I'm going to find the hips here. And from the hip, it's going to come down to kind of the knee of the horse, go back to the back part of the leg, down to the ankle, like that. So we can make that nice swooping motion. Here we can have this leg on this side coming down to the knee, back leg, and we'll have this one pulled forward just a little bit. So it's a nice walking motion for this horse. So we have our little stick figure. So now let's go ahead and flush this out a little bit. So I'm going to wrap kind of some muscle around the shoulder blade and come in just a little bit at the elbow and then out just a little bit to show some muscle. The younger the horse is, the less muscle this is, this is going to have. So this horse, a uh, foal, isn't a newborn. It's probably six months old or something. So it's starting to get a nice muscle in its body, but not super muscular. They also have just really big kind of knobby knees and then it really just slenders down from below the knee to the ankle. To the chest right in there, and then we'll bring in this leg here. And again, a little bit thicker at the upper part of the leg. Nice knobby knee. Coming in a little bit thinner around the ankle 
and out with the feet and we'll talk about the feet in a minute now if i'm going too fast if you're going oh she's going too fast i can't keep up pause the video or rewind it um that way you can work at your pace not at my pace so that gives you the control on that so moving back to the back part of the leg here it's going to be really thick with this back haunch here this is the flank part here it comes down up over the knee and you're just going to follow this line all the way down here. This part's a little bit different. It gets a little thick and then just slowly sleeks in here. Back to the really nice big back part of the leg there. So just think of that as gradually shrinking in. Same thing over here, nice and thick here. This is something, if you haven't drawn a lot of horses and you're you know, finding this difficult, don't think that this is a one-hit wonder video. Art is something that has to be practiced. You have to um, draw this tons of different times. Um, and so don't be frustrated if the first time you're doing it, it's not looking the way you want it. You're learning and it, that's okay. We all had to learn. So give yourself that that time to learn. If you find that like you're breaking the lid of your pencil or you're, you're just gouging your, uh, your your pencil into the paper, loosen up the grip on, on this. Sometimes when we get stressed out about drawing, we death grip our pencil and we just grind it in there. And you don't want to do that. That just adds stress to your drawing. It's not going to make a nice um, flowing line. So hold it gently. You love your pencil. <laughs> don't try to choke your pencil. So hold it nice, I mean, it's firmly so it's not like wobbling around, but if you can see like the white in your knuckles, <laughs> you're holding it too hard. So just kind of hold it nice and gentle and soft. So right about here is where I'm gonna put in the first circle for the horse's head. This is gonna be the back cheek jawbone of the horse. And then I'm gonna bring a line down and put another circle in here for the muzzle. If you're doing a little bit more of an illustrated look to this horse, you can really exaggerate this forehead a little bit and bring in you know a smaller muzzle it's going to give it a cuter factor and make it look more like a baby so then this line's going to come all the way down just to the chin it's going to bubble out just a little bit for the bottom of the chin so for the ears i put this little loop here and this kind of helps me know the direction of the ears and i can put the ears in right inside there so the next step is we're going to quickly look at the horse's hooves here. So you have your ankle here. It's going to come into the back of the foot and then come out just a little bit and wrap around. So there's this triangle shape right in here, if you can see it. So it wraps in behind the ankle, out just a little bit, and then create this little triangle shape here. Best thing I can say is just to look at a ton of reference photos because depending on the age of the horse and you know the condition of their hooves, it's going to change up a little bit. So in, out just a little bit, triangular. Generally, baby horses have very sparse little tails, so you have your little tailbone coming out here, and they don't have like a long tail yet. They get that length as they get older. And their mane and forelock are really kind of bushy as well. And that's really going to help them have that baby appearance. Now we're going to put the eye in here, which is just going to Come right over here as this nice little almond shape, maybe like a lemon shape. So if you can think of it as six, one way or if it's the other nostril is a backward six, kind of helps you to draw that nose out there. There. They can indicate just a couple of lines for some of the muscles. So there's a big muscle in the neck. There's a nice shoulder muscle. There's an indentation from the shoulders here, and then a nice little indentation here for the for the flank. And there we go. We have our sketched up horse. 
Now's the time that you can take this horse drawing and then finish it up however you'd like, whether you want to add color to it, whether you want to take an ink pen, ink it in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, but if you need any extra help on drawing horses, I have a whole playlist which talks about um, drawing horses, adult horses, horses running, rearing, all of that stuff. So I really suggest that you take a look at that video, go through those, um, and it might answer some of the questions that you have on drawing horses. Now it's time for the comment of the day. So today's comment comes from Dat Bear though, and they say, could you do how to draw wolves? Thanks so much. Smiley face. I actually got several of these comments in the last couple of days asking for wolf tutorials, and you guys are in luck because I actually have a playlist full of videos on how to draw wolves as well. So I'll leave both the how to draw horse playlist and how to draw wolf playlist in the description box below. If you have a question or a request, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And who knows, I might answer your question in an upcoming video. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye the hat which I'm going to bring the sides of the hat out a little bit farther than her head so it looks like she's actually kind of wearing her hat and then I'll add the cat details.